Welcome back to CZ's YouTube channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. It's your boy, Clayto Boone. And your girl, Jesse Ma. And we're here for the first episode of Three Freestylers, One Song. That's right. In the past, we had choreographers prepare pieces to the same song, but in this new series, we're going to have our friends freestyle or improvise on the spot. The song that we're using is a banger called Never Count On Me by Haywire. Let's get into it. Dancer number one, Branley Karubin. What's up, y'all? I'm Branley. I'm originally from the Bay Area. I'm currently repping Orange County. Danced with Cabo Modern and most recently, Hall of Fame. I pulled from like popping, house locking, um, and a little bit like New Jack Swing. I think it's really important to learn the foundations of all of these because funk styles, street styles, fundamental styles like that, they don't teach you just moves, they teach you um, building blocks to create your own expression. For this one, I think I found myself trying to do more popping or like feeling more like it was a popping groove. I think the biggest thing for me was trying to decide which layer to move on. Balancing that and trying not to like look like you're all over the place. to do. Dang! Sorry. Oh man. Okay. I'm like ah! the whole time. I love that you could see the music flow through his body and that's something that I wish I could do and I, I know that that's like influence of his style. I can tell that he's had some training in popping and then that's had a big influence on the way he moves. Everybody learns, has learned different things and has experienced different things and those experiences heavily influenced to the way you move. He embodied the music for sure and that's what blew me away the first time. And then the, those piano keys at the end, that's not cool, man. I'm like sweating, hold on, wait. <laughs> I'm a big supporter of like understanding your foundation and where things come from, but I love it when people can take something and then make it their own, you know what I mean? Dancer number two, Kristen Santiago. Hi, I'm Kristen Santiago. I am from Durwood, Maryland, but I rep DC and I am currently with Culture Shock LA. I love freestyle. I've, I've freestyled ever since I was little. My parents pretty much just told me to do moves for Filipino parties and then I just started dancing. I love poetry. I love free writing. I love storytelling. So I think I pull from that. I think that the number one thing is to let your body and your mind and your heart connect. Because if you overthink it, then it just doesn't seem as, as authentic. It's your voice when you don't have to say a word. This song blew me out of the water. Like, I there's so much stuff to play with. Yeah. I gave myself a high five. Just with Kristen, she just has like this presence. She like commands the attention and she wants you in that moment. As she's doing her like moves, 
She's also thinking about like the groove. She's thinking about um, how her upper body looks versus her lower body because she does this thing where she's up here. Even her own focus is like up here and then she's like doing this here. So she's very aware of all the things she's doing. I thought she took her time. I think she didn't rush through it necessarily. She had some good like pauses and some good moments. And I think when you're rushing, you're just trying to like hit everything in the music and you're, it's, you can tell that it's forced. You know, she found her pocket in the music, yeah. I also like how she hit like a little bit of like hip hop, like heavy groove within that like whack, within her like whack. Cause you don't see that often. It's like whacking's very pose, pose, like very like sharp and like it moves through. At least where you see a lot of whacking, so good. Dancer number three, Precise. What's up y'all? My name is Precise from Los Angeles, representing Versastyle Dance Company and Sobotics Crew. I've been training in freestyle dance for a very long time. I've received training in house, in hip hop, in popping, in locking, and uh, many other dance forms. Freestyle is something that I've, I'm doing every day. I don't necessarily come up with stuff, it's just things just come out. I think I was challenged by the song because there was a lot of different sounds in the music. I think you can pick and choose what you want to accent in the music, you know, change it up when you want to change it up. <laughs> Dang, they got that piano. Yes! Yo, he's so confident, bro. That, sh that shouldn't be allowed. Like, <laughs> everything is so clean and it's crisp. Like when he hit that like uh, that leg move on the violin part, like that's so hard to do, but he made it so easy. The leg work up to the hips, the chest, everything like flowed through their body. He's got a strong, very, very strong foundation in just like the simple thing. He's got such a nice wave style. There's a very clear pathway. This this thing right here, like that, like. He came out of that, like just from like a full body wave away from the camera and did it in this shoulder pocket. And that's crazy. That only comes with just a super strong foundation. This is my first time actually meeting him and then speaking to him and knowing like his background, his knowledge and stuff. Like it's so, it's so raw, like it's amazing. And I just love the work he puts in and I love what he, he creates with his body and just like letting the music ride. Just like the idea of his concepts, they're all very clear. Like he hit this like, whole thing, use that to direct your attention and go to like a foot wave, like that was crazy. Thank you all for tuning in again and make sure that you subscribe to Steezy if you want to see more awesome dance videos. And let us know in the comments below if you like this new freestyle series and if so, who you want to see in the next episode. P.S. Special thanks to Haywire for his song. Haywire! Hey, why are you here? Hey, why are you not subscribed? Hey, why are you not signed up for Steezy Studio? Hey! 